Going by the back roads from one village to the next, one discovers the rich patrimony of the Drome in the church of Gard Adma. From its terrace, the valley of the Rhone is laid out before you. Not far away is the Chateau of Grignon, the biggest Renaissance chateau in the southeast, where Madame de Sévigny stayed many times. But the Drome is also the country of the black truffle called the Perigord, or the Tubo Melanosporum, known in Provence as the Black Diamond or the Rabas. Highly considered, it is prized for its taste and rustic smell, both strong and subtle. The harvest is traditionally done with a pig, but today it's done more often with a dog. Come on, come look. You see, you see, that's very good, Ixia. You depend on the nose of a dog. You depend on it for smelling. I can smell nothing, absolutely nothing. You need a remarkable sense of smell. It's not a job for me. Come, come, come over here. Oh la la. Oh la la. They are far from the trees. It's magnificent. Lola, Ixia, Lola. That's very well done. It doesn't smell. Oh, no, not much. That's very good, Ixia, here. Good girl. Good girl. Oh la la, my fingers. That's very good, Lola. That's very good. You. You find a big truffle. Ixia, 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 go on, go on. When an acorn germinates in an area where there's lots of spore, it makes its own microorganism. So to help nature, because there's less and less wild game, there is less balance in nature than before. We microize the trees, that's to say we put the microorganisms on the trees that grow well, and then let them germinate in a place where we gather truffles, the tuba melliscorum. The microization of the tree is done by the germination of the acorn, that's to say the little green germ leaves the acorn, the seed of the chestnut, there are also seeds of pine trees that are capable of microsization. It is the most sensitive moment for microsizing the root. The microsization is like a burn. When you burn your hand, for example, if you don't look after it, you're going to have lots of blisters, and microsization is like that. So the blisters infect themselves. It's an infection, an infection which is not harmful to the trees. Once the roots have been microized, the tree gets bigger, and each year the roots grow further from the tree, and they find other spores in the soil. When they meet the spores, up, the truffle is born. So this phenomenon happens in the month of May. If the month of May is very hot and humid, very many truffles are born. It's called the birth of the truffles because the fecundation is good. And sometimes, very rarely, we find, if you really want to know, in a square meter under a tree, you can find 50, 60, sometimes 80 truffles in a square meter. One sees them very well because the little red lentils are attached to the root. The tree feeds them until around the 1st of July. From the beginning of July, it doesn't have any further contact with the truffle. The truffle cuts its umbilical cord and looks after itself after that. In the total production of truffles in France, it is our region, the south of France, which produces 60% of the national production. Is it the Perigord truffle here? It's the same variety, the Tuba melanosporum. It comes from Perigord, from here, and Italy, Spain. They're all the same variety. On the other hand, Italy has other truffles. They have the Tuba menatum, the white one. You know, the white truffle of Alba. But that's another variety we don't have in France. But the trees are always oak. Yes, amongst truffle producers, we always use oaks, but there are beech trees, birch, you have nut trees, the chestnut, coniferous trees like the cedars of Lebanon and the atlas cedar, and the Austrian pine. Here in this region we have a market every day in the surrounding villages, and on Saturday we have Richerange, the biggest market in the world. The truffle market is held at Richerange on Saturday morning from mid-November until mid-March.
This year is very poor for truffles. In the years when we have truffles, we sell between 1,000 and 1,200 kilos every Saturday. And what's the price today? They say the price starts at $500 a kilo, but right now I don't know. It's really the black diamond. Yes, it's truly a black diamond. A hundred and fifty. Are you satisfied? Yes, I'm satisfied. For half a century, on the third Sunday in January, St. Antoine's Day, the patron centre of truffle cultivators, at the church in Richerange, a mass is celebrated dedicated to the truffle. In attendance are the Brotherhood of the Knights of the Black Diamond in mighty pomp. Once the service is over, the crowd repairs to the town square where the truffles, which have been donated during the service, are weighed and auctioned off. All the money raised is given to the parish. We have 60 francs for the man in the green coat. 130, 140, 140, down to you, 140. times. So to you, sir. Five tuba melascorum of the first class of a hundred grams. We start with that. Seventy. In Carpentras, the truffle season begins under the sign of St. Cephrian, patron saint of the Carpentras.